Hello, it's Alessandro from replyrocket.io and today I'll show you how you can create an appointment chatbot using ManyChat and Calendly integrated on Facebook Messenger. So this is what I'll show you. So it asks the email, automatically you put your email and then there's a second message asking to make an appointment. Click on the button to make an appointment, that will open the Calendly link and then the person will be able to choose when they would want to book the, the appointment. So let's say the 31st at 10 a.m. As you can see, the name and the email is automatically input. And then they schedule the event. We are scheduled. And now I will receive a confirmation message with my name and uh, the date and the time. Uh, so as you can see, thank you for setting up an appointment, Alessandro. We look forward to meeting you on October 31st um, at 10 a.m. So that's what I'll show you today. For this, you will need a uh, mini chat account. Uh, you will need a pro, uh, the pro version. You will also need a Calendly uh, account and you will need a Zapier account. Um, I'll show you how to do all this in this video. So the first thing that we will do is go in settings and we'll click on fields. And here we will have to add appointment date and the email field. Um, what this does is basically when someone will type in their email, we'll be able to add it to this user field and then the appointment date will be added to this user field as well. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll delete these and I will show you how to create them. Um, so in order to create it, you click on new user field and then here we're going to just write email and then the Next one will be appointment date. Once these are done, we can go to the automation part and we can create a new folder so that everything is well organized. Here we'll, we will name it appointment setter. Like I already have one, I'll just name it V2. Then you open the folder and here we will create a new flow. After this, you will click on start from scratch um, and here you will see uh, well, the trigger and then what you have to choose for your first step. So like we're using it on Facebook Messenger, we'll have to click on Messenger. And here what we, what we are going to do is we're going to click on user input. This, this option will allow you to ask a question and then give the chance to the user using the chatbot to put in a reply. I will delete the, the text above because we, do, we don't need it. And the purpose of this question will be to ask the user um, well, their email. So what is your email? After this, you will want to click on the box where there's the question and you'll want to select email. Once you selected email, you would want to remove the skip button because otherwise users would just be able to say skip and then they won't have to put their email anymore. And you also want to deactivate the save email to system field because we will add that to the, um, to the custom field we just created. And so that is the email one. Okay, after this, we're gonna create the next step which is to send a message to the user about um, where they can book the appointment. So the next step will be, um, we'll say click on the button to make an appointment. And then we can like add an emoji, add button, and here we'll just put a calendar emoji and we'll say make appointment. Make sure that the button title um, has the right amount of characters. So that's why I cannot say make an appointment because otherwise it's minus one and there's too many characters for this button. Okay, so once that is done, um, well, when the user clicks on the button, something has to happen. And so this will open a website. So we click on open website. And here we're going to add our Calendly link. So you go on ca Calendly.
and here you're going to copy the link from from the meeting you you created and you paste it here after this if you want to that the name and the email is automatically filled in for the user um, which will increase the conversions to them booking an appointment because the information is already there for them what you will do is you will add um, this line which will also be in the description so question mark name is equal and then here it will be the name variable so first name and then you can put and email is equal to the email field that we just created it's not in the system fields it's the it's in the custom user fields and once that once that's done you can create done so what this will do is they will receive a message asking their email and also um, will give them the option to book the appointment click on the button and it'll open kindly for them to to book it so after that's done you're going to click on set live which will basically publish this com the, this flow and we'll we'll be able to use it then uh, the next step will be to create well, the appointment confirmation message so what you'll do is you'll go to automation and you'll click new flow start from scratch um, so here if you remember when we created the the custom field appointment date basically what we're going to do is that this flow will will start once the, the appointment date has been changed so what you'll click you'll click on contact events and then after that you'll click on custom field value is changed and you will click on appointment date and then appointment date has changed to any value so any times any time the appointment date will change to a value this flow will start and will give a confirmation message about the the appointment that has been set um, so then you click continue after that you click on messenger since we'll be using it on messenger and in here you will will just well before this actually we have to create a condition just so that we um, just so that we are um, how do you say this like just so that we comply with the Facebook regulations and what we'll, what we will write is messaging um, messaging window segment so basically this will be to make sure that they receive a message if we have recently been in contact with them. I'll put a link in the description which explains all of the Facebook regulations and how to comply with them. Um, it's just so that people don't create chatbots and start spamming uh, these users with messages. So, so there you go. Um, what this flow does is, well, there will be two conditions. One is if there has been someone who has interacted with the chatbot within 24 hours and they will receive this message and if they have not, they will receive another message. Um, for this example, we will write the same message and, and we are complying with the Facebook regulations. It's just we need to have this condition uh, path. So the message will be, thank you for setting up an appointment. And then we can add the first name. So this will automatically put the name in it. And then the second message will be, we look forward to meeting you. Oops. To meeting you on, and then you'd put the appointment date. So custom user fields, appointment date. So here it will show the, well the appointment date. So basically what it'll do is this message. So thank you for setting up an appointment, Alessandro. We look forward to meeting you on October, etc. The date that they uh, scheduled the appointment for. And then what I like doing is putting an emoji just so then um, uh, just so then it's more engaging with the vis with the visitor and it's less boring because that's essentially what we're trying to achieve. And then what we can do is we can just copy this um, this flow and we can just link it and there you go. That's done. So the next step after this um, is well we have to click on set live and then now what we have to do 
is we will have to uh, I don't know why this is disabled we have to turn it on there you go so the next step is to actually create uh, a zap um, so we will need to use zap here for this and basically this will allow us to automatically um, store the data from Calendly onto many chats so that we can receive this message uh, the confirmation message so it's not that hard um, what you're going to do is you have to create a, um, a Zapier account you put plus create new zap and here what we're going to do is we're going to first connect our Calendly account so what you can do is you can search Calendly and it'll come up me like I already used it it's in my most recent after that in the event part you will change it to inventory created so every time um, an appointment is created well this will trigger the, ca the, the Zapier flow press continue here you have to choose an account me I already have accounts that I in use but you can just select a new one and you're going to press continue that just should be user and in here you should select test trigger so this will just make sure that um, that it's well connected to the Calendly account then the next step is to connect with ManyChat and um, here we're going to the event will be find user by a custom field continue and then here I will have to connect um, well my account I'll just select whatever continue um, and then here we'll put uh, the email so the custom field email so basically what this will do is it will take its email and then the custom field value will be the inventory email done and then you will press continue he is going to ask you to test it if you press test step it won't um, it, w it won't work what you have to do is actually test it um, for yourself before so if we go to appointment setup v2 and we test this one there you go what is your email make appointments uh, you can just select something random there you go now that that's done we can just close this and this and we can go back to the Zapier and here you can just test the step to make sure everything worked correctly and there you go it worked now the next step will be to well to connect again many chat but we want the confirmation message with the name and with the appointment date so that's what we're going to do now the appointment date so for this we have to add again a a mini chat zap um, and we have to connect it to the same account for the event what we will put is um, set custom field and then you press continue connect it to the same account and in the user section you will find mini chat ID so you go to custom and then you can write uh, ID or you can uh, try to find it yourself but it's not that hard it's this one once you have the user ID in the custom field you will select the appointment date so that's the one we created and then the value will be the start date the start time and date in Calendly so you just write event start date there you go um, as you can notice the format is not good so this is what it will show um, if you just select this as you can see there's the milliseconds and we don't want that and also it's it's the 31st of the 10th you want it to say for example October the 31st or 31st October you don't want it in this format because it's just confusing for the user so what you do is you click on format data and here what you can write uh, it doesn't really matter but I'll just write to uh, remove uh, milliseconds and add uh, I don't know um, month name I don't know if that will work but it doesn't matter you can just write whatever yeah so it didn't work this is this just shows the month um, the date the year the hour and the minute I mean we can try it out we can see if it will work 
what is important here is the time zone so you have to make sure that you have the correct time zone so I know that on Calendly it's not UTC my Calendly is set to the UK because I'm currently in the UK um, so I just have to scroll down to Europe UK or I can just type it Europe Europe London where is it there it is and then you would write it here as well Europe slash London there you go uh, we can click continue let's just see if this will work well what we will have to do is test the step again okay let's select the 30th at 10 a.m so now if the time zone is correct it will say the 30th at 10 a.m now I, let's check if the format is correct Oh, the zap the zap is not um, is not on so that's why it didn't work um, what you can do is you can just click on test step and then it'll show okay so perfect this is exactly what I wanted so the month the date of the month the year or well, the year is not important you can remove it but um, that you just have to say when you format the data and then the time without the seconds and the milliseconds because we don't need that then you can press on continue and you're done um, well you can test this as well but it's not important so here I will receive the confirmation okay so it is important but you see that the the format is not correct at all so it's good that I did a test so what I'll do is I'll change it back um, so to do that you go in action and then basically you're going to click on from format which is this one and then to format um, which is the second one that's what you want click continue you can retest the step there you go continue 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 um, and you can remove this part There you go. So now we have the correct format. October 31st, 10 a.m. So what I'd recommend you to do is just play around with the formats and you'll find one that's, that makes sense to you. Um, it's not that important if there's a second or not, uh, but you can definitely change it. And then once that's done, remember to publish it, otherwise it won't work by itself. So now what we will do is we will um, test it out one last time. So what is your email? Select this one, make appointment. Let's choose the 9th at 9 a.m. As you can see, we have the name and we have the email that's automatically put, so that's correct. Schedule event. There you go, so we booked it at 9 a.m. Let's see the conf confirmation message. Thank you for setting an appointment, Alessandro. So we use the first name. We look forward to meeting you on October 9th. 2023 at 9 a.m. Okay, so now I'll test it on my phone. So as you can see, my my phone screen. Um, I, what I did is in the conversation flow, I just added a trigger. So whenever someone says hi or appointment, it will start the flow. Um, you can put whatever you want to to start the flow. Uh, but this is just to show in the video. So hi. What is your email? That's the email that's linked to my Facebook account. Click on the button to make an appointment, make an appointment. The Calendly opens and now I'm able to select a day and a time. So let's do 9 a.m. Then as you can see, it says the name and it says the email. And here you can schedule the event. As you can see, it has been scheduled and now I will receive a message with the confirmation. There you go. Thank you for setting an appointment. We look forward to meeting you at 11 a.m. There you go. So. It works perfect.